um, coming to you with my wife, Anna Marie, here. Hi there. This is something called the grind that I've been doing. Um, it is a is actually geared toward church planners and entrepreneurs. Um, and you say to yourself, well, you're a pastor, you know, like, what do you know about starting businesses? Well, guess what? In church land, it's actually, um, I mean, when you go to set up a church, you actually have to set it up as a business. It has to be a nonprofit, mm -hmm. which is a 501c3. So there's a lot to it. There's a lot of stuff that goes on from that perspective. Yeah. And then if you're, if you're a believer, you'll understand this. It's kingdom business, which is the spiritual end of it. Mm -hmm. And if you're not a believer, well, that might not make a lot of sense. But we're not here to talk that way today. We just want to give some encouragement, uh, my wife and I, to wherever you are. And I'm sure there are people that have been doing this a lot longer than us that can do the opposite and give us advice. And I'm totally open for it. Don't claim to know it all. But just knowing that when you go through a lot of pain and you go through a lot of things, it's not just for you. Mm. Um, it's for others. And when you see what we believe um, God taking us through it, you know, you can really see how like, you know, okay, like this wasn't just for me. And um, so True. today, honey, you're, you're going to ask yeah. me a few questions and kind of lead a little bit here. And um, yeah, the subject uh, matter today is don't take it personal, right? Yep. So I have a few questions regarding that and um, I'm sure the audience would love to hear how you want to answer those. Well, let me, let me, um, <coughs> let me piggyback that real quick. So to explain a little bit about what we're doing here, mm -hmm. don't take it personal. Let me give you the, the setup and the scenario of what happened with us, okay? Yeah. So here we are um, being told that, you know, I've been told that by God that I was supposed to come back to my hometown of Millville and start a church. Mm -hmm. And that was almost eight, nine years before it finally happened. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing I really wasn't expecting was when we started working together. Now, you think it in a marriage, you kind of are supposed to work together, right? Mm -hmm. But it's different when you have your job over here and her job over there. And, you know, and then you meet up for dinner for a couple hours. And before you know it, you go to bed and repeat process, right? Corporate America, yeah. The, the American dream. Mm -hmm. But when you got to work with each other, and my wife was is very good at music and she has a passion for it. But what happened was I didn't like what was going on. And you remember those days, honey? Ugh, nightmare days, yeah. <laughs> and so, nightmare. you know, I wasn't pleasant to deal with either. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't getting my point across. And my wife was taking offense to it and taking it personally. And so we just kind of went like this. Remember, babe? Yeah. And, um... <laughs> yeah. We remember it like it was yesterday, and the tension was so thick that when people came in the church, especially our second year in existence, you could you could feel it. You could cut it with a knife of her and I, you know, you and I arguing. Right. And um, right. you remember that? Oh, certainly. That was crazy. No fun. That was a lot of a lot of no nuts fun. And, stuff. and it's it helps us to grow. You know, thank God we grew through it, mm. or we could have really you know, drifted apart. Oh yeah. You know, through it. So maybe you have the uh, business yeah. that whether it's church or whether it's um, a, a for-profit business or whatever, and you have family members, be very careful, mm -hmm. be very careful because it can ruin marriages. It can ruin relationships. It can really put you in a spot where it can yeah. divide people. Oh yeah. So honey, why don't you uh, go ahead and ask me some of these questions and we'll to our listeners here. So I'm thinking like in the first year of founding our church, okay, mm -hmm. how many times do you think you took things too personally? You know? Quite often. Mm. So again, I'm going to explain this two ways. One from a church perspective, one could easily be from a business perspective. So you start off something and the church you came from or the business that maybe said, go ahead and start something new. And you have a lot of friends and a lot of people that tell you, hey, listen, when you open up your business or you open up your church, we're going to be there to support you. Mm -hmm. And they don't. And I remember that it was probably the third or fourth month of our, our, our uh, time being open. We were known as Millville Community Church then. Mm -hmm. I remember staring up at the sky and it was a beautiful fall night and I had my one foot against the building and the other foot on the ground and I was so mad 
because I didn't see many people coming. Right. And I saw very little people coming from our old church. Yeah. And it was tough because we had to build it from the ground up, mm -hmm. you know. But boy, oh boy, mm -hmm. was I upset. And I got on Facebook that night and I let everybody know mm -hmm. how upset I was. Mm -hmm. And I started calling people out and getting crazy yeah. and you can't do that. You cannot do that. And then, again, from church perspective, when you have people telling you, and to this day it still happens, I'll be there. I'll be there, Pastor. I'll, I'll be there, Ria. Love I'll, your time. I'll, I'll be love, there. Love your time, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm never there. You know what? Yeah. But but uh, I've had to learn to roll with the punches. I was going to say that. I was going to say those exact words. And Thank just, yeah, we, we can't, babe, because we, we've had it happen so many times. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's crazy. I, I think we, we can get quick to get offended, honey, and that's dangerous. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So the answer is many. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So why do you think people take things so personally when they own and run a business then? Well, I think it's, I think it's because it's yours, theoretically. And when things like, we talk to our leaders and there's a certain expectation of leadership in our church. And some people are frightened by it, and, but I say, you know what, I, I'm not caring of whether or not you hit the mark. I'm caring about how hard you're trying. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think a lot of people can get really upset and, and personal because it's the work that you're pouring into. Yeah. And it's like you're pouring your heart out mm -hmm. into it. And you have a vision. You have a, a, yes. a goal of what you're trying to get at. And if somebody's not sharing that goal, or if they're not um, on board with it, and they're trying to constantly sabotage you, or yeah. they're saying bad things about you, or they're getting on Twitter or face, Facebook or whatever, and they're saying, I hate being a part of this or whatever. Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's easy to take that personally. Yeah, and I see the word success, 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 and that's what you're thinking about. You wanna to drive toward, you know. Sure. Success. Whatever that success looks like. Right. You know, right. Um, is it I want to hit a certain dollar amount? Mm -hmm. Is it I want a certain amount of people? Is it you want lives changed? Like in our case. Yeah. Um, you know, it depends on what that is. Yeah. We had a situation one time um, where uh, a person came to our church and we welcomed them, but they got to know us through Code Blue. And, you know, all of a sudden it started turning personal and they started saying things within the congregation and started stirring up a lot of trouble. And you get a small congregation, it doesn't take long for that to kind of go through. So um, I had to talk to this person and say, listen, you know, I'm, I'm not mad at you, but like if you already have a church, like go back because you're not helping anything, you're hurting. Um, and, you know, person got offended, of course, and I did too, and there right. you have it. Right. Now, you know, I'm, I'm not mad, I'm, I don't... Mm -hmm. Person's moved on, but even if they didn't, I'm not mad. But you have to address those things. Yeah. So yeah. it's a big thing. And that brings us to the, the next question. Mm -hmm. You know, um, how do you not take things personally? Isn't she beautiful? You know, I always through, say that. Through all the, I always say that. Through all the blood, sweat, and the tears. Can anyone relate to that? <laughs> anyone, have, <laughs> anyone have us here? Because um, it is, right, honey? It's, it's not easy. It's blood, sweat, and tears. Jocko Willink, who is a uh, was a former Navy SEAL of 20 years, he has his own podcast. I don't believe he proclaims to be a Christian, but his his mentality of warfare and so forth, I value because in the Bible, a lot is referred to about spiritual warfare. And that's another subject for another day. But basically, you're in a war, you're in a battle. Mm -hmm. And the world's going to try to tell you, you can't do it, you won't do it, you're going to fold, don't even think about it. And um, I, I just want to encourage anyone, you know, watching this right now, watching us. No matter what happens, no matter if somebody doesn't show up when they're supposed to, no matter if they do say stuff about you, no matter if they get on Facebook or they give you a really bad rating on Yelp, which you can't turn back once you put it on Yelp, you can't delete it, it's there forever. It's very hard, but you can't take it personal. Mm. Mm. You can't take it personal. Mm -hmm. And if you get inner criticism, um, whether I tell my wife I'm not, I don't like something or she says something to me or somebody says something, you know, in, in our leadership group. And I've had a few approach me about my preaching, uh, about my time and different things like that. And 
there's that ego that starts to pop up to say, I'm the boss, you're not. Mm. But then I also have to go back and say, I know their heart, they're not trying to destroy me, they're trying to make me better. Constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. right? Even though they've never preached, mm -hmm. they're, they're seeing it from a different perspective. So, to kind of wrap it up, I, I would say this. Number one, um, move forward no matter what. That's the first thing. Amen, yeah. Move forward no matter what. The show must go on, as Freddie Mercury said years ago, Queen, when he died of AIDS. Mm. It has to keep going. You can't sit and sulk about it, dip out of uh, the limelight for a month or two months. It, you have to keep going. And in warfare, somebody dies in front of you. I mean, I've never been in the service, but I've heard this. You know, you got to keep fighting because you're mm -hmm. fighting for your own life. Mm -hmm. The second thing is, um, I would say that humans in general <laughs> are broken and fallen people. So everybody's got their stuff. Everybody's got their stuff. Everybody has their problems. Everybody has their stuff. And, and the bottom line is when that stuff comes out and it may come out directed at you and you don't even, mm. they don't even know it, you have to say something like, again, for if you're a follower of Jesus, he said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Right. And that's a real big saying. I also think of, you know, we have to turn the other cheek mm -hmm. and not, you know, uh, want that bad, you know, back to the bad that was given to us, mm -hmm. you know? Well, yeah, because if you get, if yeah. you get, if you get caught with it, honey, mm -hmm. like even when people come at you about music, I mean, my goodness, this is a real good example. So Anna Marie is a worship leader in our church. Okay. Right. And so we haven't had a lot of it because we're smaller right now, but when we get bigger, trust me, um, it'll happen. They're going to try to tell her what type of music do they want to hear. They're going to try to tell her what songs they want to hear. They're going to try to tell her that they want some of the old stuff. And they're going to try to dictate to Anna Marie what music they want to hear. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be all of them. It's going to be one or two that are going to try to dominate that. Mm -hmm. She can't take it personal. So how does she react to it? She can say something like this. Well, I appreciate your input. I'll certainly consider it and pray about it. Right. And if it if it if it's put on my heart, then I'll do it. And if not, you have to understand that mm -hmm. I still have to right. do what I got to do. Right, right. That's not taking it personal. So let's just say you're a business, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, people have been dealing with the big boy and the block, and um, you come in and you're the small one, and you say, "Listen, I want to, you know, wire your house or whatever." Well, I've done with this electrician for 20 years. Okay. Understood, um, but what about giving me a shot? Well, I just don't know you, and you know you, you, you're a rookie, and you probably won't do nearly as good as job. That hurts because they never gave you an opportunity to prove yourself. So you have to be real, and you have to pull up your big boy pants and just say, "Okay, thank you for your time. If there's ever an opportunity where you'd like me to try it." And you want to take a take a shot on me? Here's my card. Or a big girl, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I mean, that's obviously, you know, Goes through, for both. through both yeah. genders. So, um, it is harder at times. I think sometimes for women, but then also the male ego gets in the way. So there's a different level on both ends. Yeah. But uh, you know, we talk about this all the time when we mm -hmm. sit down and have our conversations about music, and mm -hmm. sometimes we have our uh, practice. Her and uh, Maddie Bratton. Maddie's young, um, but my wife and I'll get into it if she's not listening to me, mm -hmm. because I see something and she might not, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So we can't take it personal. We're learning to work past that and yeah. say, okay, yeah. all right, I heard you. Okay, let's see. How can I make that better? What can I do? And you look at it as an opportunity rather than you just smash my birthday party. Yeah, because you know what I see a lot of times that love is what we're supposed to be giving back that just kind of goes right out the window mm -hmm. you just go on reaction and yep. kind of stinks but it's like i guess our human nature especially if you hit a sore point yeah so it doesn't matter what it is if you just hit a sore point all mm -hmm. bets are off and you, now you've taken it personally right so on that note um i, I want to hear from you um put your comment down yeah. below here and um i want to know what you're dealing with or maybe your experience with taking things personally. And maybe it's just, hey, you know, Steve, can you pray for me? Um, 
or just, you know, you vent it and you just say, hey, I'm having trouble or this is how I overcame it or whatever. Um, put that in the comments. And don't forget, give us a, a huge thumbs up, okay? Mm -hmm. um, we, we could really use that. And if you haven't subscribed yeah. to uh, Restoration House Media, Media Network, Network, please do, okay? Because that's the way you keep connected and mm -hmm. we have a whole bunch of stuff our church is doing. And again, you get some stuff like this and some of it's sermons and some of it's devotionals, but there's other things too. One of them is Raw with I have a program. Rhea, yep. With yep. Rhea and uh, Renee. So I'm not going to talk any more about check that. It out. You're going to mm -hmm. have to just check it out yourself on this channel. All right. So um, God bless you guys. Give it a big thumbs up and um, have a great week. Bye guys.